Alright guys, welcome to Minecraft Let's Play. This one's going to be a little bit different from a lot of the other ones you've probably seen before. This one is going to be modded. Like crazy. I mean, in fact, I guess you could say it's modded to he uh, Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, Let's uh, go with modded to hell. Yeah, the seat I always choose for my Let's Play maps is Truth. It's a really cool map. It generates a really, really pretty looking world. So, uh, I'll let that generate. I'll give you some more info. Some of the mods included in this are like, I think 303's arrows is in here. Um, let's see, Wild Grass is in here. Uh, Humans Plus. Mo Creatures. More Freaks and Weirdos. That's what it's called, right? Just trying to remember that one. Um, as well as Z Mod with the mini map. Uh, yeah. So here it is. Yeah. It's pretty basic. Um, what's interesting about this is I actually tried to, uh, I tried making this before, but you see on the minimap that little white diamond? That's the waypoint for my home spot that I originally set when I first started playing the first time. But I, since I made the map, I guess, with the same name and the same seed, it saved the waypoint. Pretty cool. Uh, that's, I think that's a bandit. So we're just gonna go over here, look at the baby chicken for a little bit, and we're gonna beat the crap out of him. And he drops a heart. Good. It's like Legend of Zelda. Whenever you pick up a heart, you get a heart back. You know, but you uh, you can't use it as an item or anything. So I'm just gonna collect some wood here. Start out, you know, basically the way anyone else would. Um. <coughs> Sorry about that. Allergy season acting really weird. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this tree down, and I'm gonna, you know, start with a workbench, and maybe I'll start building my shelter first this time. Usually I start with tools, but you never know. It's probably a good idea to start with a shelter, too. Um, and around here you're gonna see a bunch of, a bunch of things you've probably never seen before if you haven't played a lot of these mods before. Um, I know we've got, a this in the waypoint system, which I pretty much totally forgot about. <laughs> um, yeah. Really not too much going on right now. There's a golem over there. I heard they were really hard to kill, but I've never actually fought one before. Let's see. Oh yeah, about Humans Plus. Um, in Humans Plus, I don't recall this from one of the previous ones, but knights have the ability to talk, and I think maybe some other ones do too, but I've never seen them. Um, those are things. There's a bunch of things in there like assassins. There's knights, obviously. The one just talked. Uh, there's samurai, like the little guy you see down there. Um, elves, I believe. And if we're lucky, we'll get a guest appearance from him. Um, I've heard he spawns on man-made materials in low light levels. So maybe if I build a dark section of my house, like an attic without any light in it, or a torch, I have to put up when I go in. Maybe we'll get lucky one day and find him. <laughs> I remember this one time I tried catalyzing a hero Brian spawn, and I had a dark section of my house, and I heard footsteps above my head, and I was like, oh, maybe I should go up there and check it out. But it was a creeper, and my house became a half a house. Huh. <sighs> Good times. So that little guy over there is a bubbly fella. I don't know what they're called. But uh, they look cute and precious, and I th there's something to do with bubble gum with them. They have a rival with they have a rivalry, sorry, against these uh, weird centipede things. And uh, they look adorable. They punch them, they punch back, and they punch back quickly. Uh, baby chickens, on the other hand, do not. Um, but they still drop like the same amount of feathers, and they spawn a lot more frequently than regular chickens do, which is kind of weird. Um, or at least that's what I've seen to notice so far. So we're just going to start with a basic design for the house. Um, whenever I start out m building in Minecraft, I was build minimalistically because I don't want to waste any materials. Um, let's see. We're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna build a little crap shack for now. Um, yeah, now that I'm in a wood, we'll just stick with two walls for now to mark some boundaries, kind of. Um, yeah, I cut out the corners, too, because it's always a block. I mean, we, we all, everybody knows that there's a corner there. I mean, you don't actually have to have it. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get a furnace in here, um, and I'll probably have to go get some more wood later, and there's a big forest on top of a hill near here, and I'll be going up there to get some wood, 
mainly because it's the only area I know of right now. And maybe on the way up we'll see some interesting mobs. Um, but for now, we're just gonna crunch out this little cobblestone deposit area here. Every time I walk past here, I hear cave noises, so maybe in a later Let's Play, we'll go check out and see if there's a cave here. Um, yeah, for now we're just gonna grab some cobblestone, maybe we'll find something here. Don't... We're probably not going to, actually. Alright. But I will eventually dig down and see if there's a cave down there. Maybe I'll use the, uh... Maybe I'll hit F3 and see if we can find any mob IDs. Um... Yeah. Um... And if you guys express some interest in the future, maybe I'll do a Let's Play on Hard Mode. Because different mobs spawn on different mods, uh, depending on what difficulty you're playing on. Like, I know in, uh, I believe it's Mo Creatures, like, if you just play on Hard Difficulty, you can see Flame Wraiths and, um, Fire Ogres. And, like, there's, there's Ogres on Mo Creatures, but only on higher difficulties. Like, I've never seen an ogre on easy, although I don't think it says anywhere that they can spawn. I've never seen one. There's a bear over there. Gotta be careful around those guys. They're, uh, they're weird. I mean, they, sometimes they'll look at you and they'll just walk away, but they're territorial. Um, I guess kind of like spiders during the daytime. They're hostile until you, uh, approach them. And, yeah, knights say some pretty weird crap. Um, also bears kill everything they see. So, uh, or they try to, at least. Maybe with the exception of humans. But not you. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, night wars. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll run into some knights eventually. That'll be, uh, pretty interesting. And they battle, uh, at least I remember, um... A while ago when I had Humans Plus, they dropped, uh, they dropped Chainmail. So, maybe we'll get some free armor. I mean, that's one of the other things that's really nice, is you'll get a lot of really rare drops. Some of them will be incredibly useful, some of them are totally useless. And my house over there? Um, like I know, the sharks you see over there swimming in the water. Yeah, that's what those are, the sharks. Uh, they drop shark teeth, but I don't think you can do anything with them. Let's see. Stupid leaves. Yeah, I know they despawn eventually, but if they drop saplings, I don't want to miss that. So, yeah. Oh, God. Also, for the record, I hate cows. Baby cows? Okay. Big cows? Annoying. So, uh... Oh, God. And they make my game lag for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. They're hideous and aggravating and annoying. And... They keep me up at night. I'm going to leave those other two go for now, because I'm probably not going to build around here. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. So this is that area I was talking about. Um, that is a creepy noise. I feel threatened. Um, oh, okay, it's just that little slumpy thing. Yeah, they have, uh, there are things that have wars with those bubblegum monsters. Like, I think they, uh, I remember correctly, like, they dig holes to trap them. And, uh... They close trap them and try to get their bubblegum. Yeah. You do not deserve ice cream! Anyhow, I got some wool for a bed here, and... Uh... F oh, by the way, I swear a lot in these. And... Fuck you, you stupid sheep. <laughs> Good night! Anyway. Let's do this. I took my rage on the sheep. I don't need to kill that baby chicken. He's just being cute and fluffy, like baby chickens are. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, just gotta be careful not to fall into those pits. And I really hope to God those things don't spawn anywhere near my house because they're more aggravating to fill than creeper holes because they delete the block data. I mean, creepers have a chance of doing that too, but uh, there's is a, you know, they delete a lot fewer blocks. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Um, bandits have that really weird attacking tendency too. And what's great about them is if they target something else that's not you, you can totally just walk past them unnoticed. It's great. Um, yeah, no, I've got enough wool to uh, to make a bed. I'll be good. I'll just get a little bit more and make sure I'm safe. 
that's another thing. I don't like leaving trees standing, so I'll actually deliberately cut down any tree I see. But I'll never cut down large trees because they look really cool. Um. Alrighty. We're probably running out of daylight. So, I'm gonna get back to my, uh, to my house. Not before I kill this baby pig. Give me some pork. Give me some pork. And you gave me none. Sad face. Alrighty. Um, yeah, just gonna go back to the house now. Um, that's a, that's another thing that's great about this is because, um, oh, hey, some bread. Um, whenever you, uh, run around, you'll actually find some really cool mobs, like that green thing over there. It's called a goo goat. It walks over, uh, whenever it walks over a patch of grass or a patch of something living, it'll, uh, it'll kill it. Like, if it walk, I'm not sure if it works with saplings, but I know it works with wheat, because the, one of these jerks killed one of my wheat farms one time. The entire thing, just it spawned inside and just wreaked havoc, and I lost all the wheat I had in there, and I broke two hoes trying to get it all back. And then I died trying to kill that goat, because they were like, I don't remember if they just tackle you, but uh, I know they hurt. They fight back. And it's weird, because like everything fights back. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna finish up the shelter, and I'm probably gonna close it off. And I'll end the video once I get into bed. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I'll leave that there. Yeah, I'll just make a roof here. Alrighty. And then one thing I've never noticed is, uh, every time I have these mods on, I never find rare mobs. Like, I've had mo creatures on before, and I don't see slimes anymore. I don't see wolves anymore. Uh, I don't know if they're, like, retextured or anything, but... I mean, I doubt they're retextured. Uh, yeah, I'll take both of them. Um, but it just seems like they don't spawn anywhere near as often as they should. Uh, okay. Make sure this place has at least enough light so nothing kills me at nighttime. That's one of my worst flaws as a Minecrafter, is I always, always build houses that are too dark at night. Um. Okay. What? Um. Uh, alrighty then. I'm hoping that's not a hostile mob. Huh. I'm gonna build the bed now. Um. And I'm gonna hit the hay for the night. Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next.